Hey everybody, today is so exciting because we are on our last bee that we're cooking and it is Burundi from Africa. So for this first recipe from Burundi, we're gonna be making red kidney beans and plantains on the stove here. It's really unique and it's actually one of my favorite dishes that I've made in a really long time. I really like the flavor of it. So keep on watching and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So to start off, we're gonna do our usual, which is turn it on the stove to a medium high heat and put some olive oil in the pan. So we have two tablespoons of olive oil in here and I'm gonna just let that heat up for a second before I add my next ingredient, which is the onions. Okay, I have one onion that's chopped up here and I'm gonna add that into our oil and let it cook, you guessed it, about five minutes until it starts to turn, tran starts to turn translucent. Now that your onions have cooked until they're translucent, we're gonna start adding in the other ingredients. So I had two cans of red kidney beans, and I opened up the cans, I put them in the strainer and strained out all that excess liquid that's in the can, and then I rinsed them out, so that now they're nice, clean, rinsed red kidney beans, and I put that in here. I also had two plantains, so I sliced this open the plantains and took the peel off of them, and then I sliced them diagonally into little rounds like this, and I'm gonna put those in there too. And when I was choosing my plantains, I made sure to pick ones that looked a little bit darker on the peel, because um, the darker your plantains are, the sweeter they're gonna be in your dish. So we'll add in the plantains, and then our seasonings as well. So I have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and then a third of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're gonna mix all of this up, and I'm just gonna let it cook for just about a minute um, to combine everything together. Probably by the time I'm done mixing this up, we'll be ready to put in the rest of the ingredients. In this cup right here, I have one cup of water and one cup of chicken stock. We're going to pour this into the pan, and then I'm gonna keep it uncovered and let it cook for about 15 or 20 minutes, you wanna uh, make sure that there's a little bit of liquid left. So most of the liquid's gonna evaporate out, but there's gonna be about a half cup of liquid left in this pan by the time it's done. And this is just gonna mix together and cook everything together. The, it'll all break down a little bit. It'll cook the plantains through, cook the beans a little bit more. And in about 15 or 20 minutes, we'll come back to check it, see how it looks. In 1996, Burundi became the poorest country to ever win an Olympic gold medal. So they had never participated in the Olympics prior to 1996, but in 1996 they got an Olympic gold medal for a 5,000 meter race. And oddly enough, although that was a big achievement for them, the jogging is not looked upon so fondly in the country. So group jogging is banned because in 2014, the president said that this would be a way for the people of Burundi to use that time to plan anti-governmental activities. So I let those beans and plantains simmer on the stove for about 15 minutes until there was just a little bit of liquid left in the bottom. And then I put them in this nice, beautiful bowl. As you can see, it all kind of broke down a little bit. So I don't know if it looks the prettiest right now, but I can guarantee you that it takes tastes delicious, so don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, have a little bite of it. I love that there's cinnamon in it. So the cinnamon adds a, a little bit of a sweet flavor, and so do the plantains. As they're cooking, the plantains get a little bit sweeter too, and so it's a really interesting flavor combination that I really enjoy. This would be perfect as a side dish for chicken or meat or something along those lines, or you can just eat it as a bowl by itself because it's that delicious. So if you want the recipe for this, you can go to www.foreignfork.com slash red beans and plantains, and the recipe will be there. And also take a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel because there's lots of other cool recipes from around the world.